any given linear polynomial has one and only one zero or root. Let's understand this point. To understand this, we have taken two polynomials fx and gx where fx is equal to 2x plus 3 and gx is equal to x squared minus 9. Now fx is a linear polynomial because here the degree of this polynomial is 1 and gx here is a quadratic polynomial because the degree is 2. Now when we have to find the root of this polynomial then we know that we always equate it to 0 and then we solve it. So fx is equal to 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 that is 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 that is 2x is equal to minus 3 that is x is equal to minus 3 by 2. It means that if you put x is equal to minus 3 by 2 in this polynomial then this polynomial will become 0. That's why we say that this is a root sorry this is a zero of this polynomial or root of this polynomial but we know that we always use the term root for polynomial equation zero just for the polynomial and root for the polynomial equation that is this one zero is the uh, sorry minus three by two is a zero of this polynomial and minus three by two is the root of this polynomial equation both are same thing just little difference so, in this case, you can see that you have only one uh, zero or root that is minus three by two. But what about this one? So, in order to solve this one, the zero or root to find out the zero or root of this polynomial, let's equate it to zero. That is, g x is equal to x squared minus nine is equal to zero. From here, you get x squared minus nine is equal to zero, and this gives you x squared is equal to nine. It means that x squared is equal to 3 squared or x squared is equal to minus 3 squared. Remember the concept of a square root we have discussed, we discussed earlier. So x squared is equal to 3 squared and x squared is equal to minus 3 squared. Both these two will give you ultimately 9 only. So from here, if you take the square root of this one, then you get for this, you get x is equal to 3 and if you take the square root of this one in this case you get x is equal to minus 3 right so a quadratic polynomial it has two zeros or roots one is 3 one is minus 3 it means that if at the place of x you put 3 so 3 squared that is 9 minus 9 is 0 at the place of x you put minus 3 that is minus 3 squared means 9 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 so if you put put these two values here your polynomial will reduce will be reduced to 0 that means that these are the two zeros or roots of this quadratic polynomial in this case the linear polynomial we have only one uh, root or 0 so in general we know that we can represent a linear polynomial by ax plus b. In general, we represent a linear polynomial by linear polynomial by ax plus b. It means that the zero or root will be given by px is equal to zero. That is ax plus b is equal to zero. That is ax is equal to minus b. That is x is equal to minus b by a. So if your polynomial is a linear polynomial simply put this uh, the value of b and a with negative sign and you will get the zero or root of this particular po linear polynomial and clearly it has only one and one zero or root that is given by minus b by a now some of you might ask that what if b is equal to zero right sorry b is equal to 0 that is okay it got a little bit mixed up just give me time here so this is actually okay so this was for uh, ax plus b where your a cannot be equal to 0 like this is a basic thing that we know so what if b is equal to 0 that is your px is simply ax and we have seen such examples where we have linear polynomials where we don't have any constant terms like in this case we have two terms ax and b 
right? But in this case, we have only one term, 3x, 101x, and 25x. Why? Because here the constant term that is b is actually equal to zero, but still it's a linear polynomial, right? But in this case, when you find the root or the zero of this, these three polynomials, that is a linear polynomial that has uh, no constant term, that's whose b is zero, in that case, your root will always be zero. The root or zero will always be equal to zero. How? Huh? So px is equal to ax is equal to zero. We are trying, trying to find out its root or zero. From here you get ax is equal to zero. It means that x is equal to zero by a. It means that x is equal to zero. So your zero or root for a linear polynomial which doesn't contain any constant term, which doesn't contain a constant term, it means that it's zero or root will always be equal to zero. If you want to check for this one, three x is equal to zero. We are trying to find out it's zero or root. From here, you get x is equal to zero by three. That is, x is equal to zero. You put zero at the place of x and you'll get zero. You put uh, zero at the place of x, you'll get zero. You put x at the place of uh, uh, at the place of zero at the place of x you'll get zero that is zero is the root or zero of a polynomial or of a linear polynomial whose constant term is missing